Hello everyone and welcome to how to use and clean the popcorn machine. In this video we will be going over everything you need to know on how to make popcorn before shows and clean the machine at the end of the night. Part 1. Pop and corn. To turn the machine on flip the switch on the bottom right hand side. Then make sure that the kettle is on via the button on the top right. A red light will come on that reads wait. It can take up to 10 minutes for the machine to warm, and when it does, the light will turn green and read ready. You should find everything that you need to make popcorn in the cabinet to the right of the machine. There should be butter buds, flavacol, measuring cups, oil, kernels, scoops, and bags to serve with. Additional popcorn kernels are located underneath the register to the left of the candy cabinet, and extra seasonings and oil are in the cabinet beneath the machine. If you are missing anything and there are no backups in these two places, ask a house manager to bring some up from downstairs or to show you where to look downstairs. Fill the plastic cup at least three quarters of the way with popcorn kernels. Add one and a half scoops of butter buds and one heaping scoop of flavacol. These are the white and orange colored flavorings respectively. The butter buds are light and fluffy butter flavoring, whereas the flavacol is a form of salt. Fill the Pyrex measuring cup with one third cup of oil and dump it into the pot. The lid can be opened with the mechanism to the far left. Then, dump in your popcorn and seasoning mixture. Wait until the popping has slowed or stopped to dump the pot. You can dump the pot out with the mechanism on the right of the pot. Pull straight down and shake out most of the popcorn. Shake any remaining kernels in the pot into a popcorn scoop and dispose of them. Make enough popcorn appropriate to the size of the audience that evening. Part 2. Cleaning the Popcorn Machine The following is a step-by-step -step on how to clean the machine. Step 1. Be sure to turn off the warmer and kettle as they will be hot. Step 2. Wait until the machine has cooled, then remove the popcorn. If there is a show in the next 48 hours, popcorn can be saved in a plastic bag. Leave this on the counter for now. Step 3. When the popcorn has been cleaned out of the machine, open the kettle and shake it out well, clearing out any debris. Step 4. Make sure that you wipe down all surfaces of the machine with water or a degreasing wipe, including the floor, ceiling, doors, and walls of the machine, as well as the inside of the pot, including the stirrer and the lid. Dump the popcorn and kernels out of the catch drawer, rinse out the drawer in the sink, and set aside. Remove the metal section that holds the doors closed and bring it to the sink to rinse off. Set aside. Step 7. The metal floor of the machine can be lifted. Lift the floor so that you can see the heating element for the warmer. If there's a lot of debris around the element, clear it out as much as possible with a wet paper towel or rag. Step 8. Put the drawer and other piece back into place. Step 9. Turn off the machine and put the plastic bag of popcorn inside to use later. Step 10. Clean up the area of the popcorn supplies as well as the area around the popcorn machine to make sure there is no oil or seasonings all over the place. Step 11. Close the doors to the machine and supplies. You are all set. Lastly, thank you all so much for the effort that you put into maintaining the bars, making great drinks, coming to shows, and working with us. Our bartenders are essential to the success of the music hall, and we appreciate you all very, very much. We'll see you in the next video.